a free website builder, free email marketing, a free blog, a free affiliate platform, a free drag and drop website builder with e-commerce checkout, free email marketing, free online courses, and so much more that you can do on this one platform all for free. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Now come on now. What's up icons? It's the iconic fashion figure. I have a free platform and this platform has everything you need to start an online business completely for free. And this is the platform that I was talking about. Sending emails, build a website, here's your affiliates, you can do online courses, you can automate, and if I go to features, you'll see the rest of them. One of the other features that I didn't mention that they do have is if you need to do webinars, but that's not a part of the free plan, which is why I didn't mention it. Now, of course, there are paid plans too, so when you're ready to scale and grow your business, you can just upgrade right on the same platform without having to make switches trying to help those of you that are starting on a budget but of course if you have some funds saved up specifically for your website and things like this where you can add it in I'll quickly show you the pricing if you want to do the upgrades so here's the free plan then you have the startup plan at 27 and then the webinar one if you need webinars is 47 and then everything unlimited is 97 but as you can see the free plan payment processors which I want to point out because I noticed somewhere here it says zero percent transaction fees that would mean system.io is not charging you any transaction fees but whatever payment processor you integrate like stripe or paypal or any of these they'll have their own processing fees that you'll have to pay it's usually 2.9 percent plus like the 30 cent or something like that if you want to set up a blog on the free plan you can do one upgrade if you need more you could do a link in bio page to make it mobile optimized here's e-commerce as you can see under the free plan you can do unlimited physical products if you would like you have shipping management inventory management here's your online courses free you can only have one course but you can have unlimited students you can create a community which I haven't mentioned yet you can do your affiliate marketing like I mentioned this is talking about if you need to contact system IO you can do team management so you start hiring help and you want them to have their own account to access your back end of your platform you can do unlimited team members on here and then you have other integrations like Google Sheets but it shows you all the features that are already included and on this platform you can build a free website that has e-commerce on there so you can upload both digital and physical products on there you do not have to do how I do with the free Canva website by copy and pasting in links this is all built into your free website and it's an easy drag and drop website that you can create they have a bunch of templates that you can choose from and the best thing is the free plan also includes a custom domain. I'm actually going to go ahead and create an account. Okay, and this is the back end of it. Let's do a digital store because most of you will most likely be selling products. Over here in the top right corner says create. It's kind of cut off, but let's create it here is the domain name I might have to go into settings to set up a domain but I don't actually want to connect my domain here anyway if you want me to show you how to connect a domain if you'll be using this let me know in the comments and I'll record a separate video with a different domain but for now I'm just going to leave the one that they generated for me and it's already showing you how it'll be mobile optimized we can add products you can redirect to an external link so those of you that already have canva website set up you can do this or you can just start here oh this would be good too if you have like amazon stores you can also do this to collect emails sell a digital download or sell a course but why is it not giving me physical products let me start over and do the actual website first maybe i need to do that we'll click create and let's give it a name you can do custom but since i'm just selling a product or service i'm gonna go there let me see can i change this to usd here we go I was gonna say you get nervous here there's no usd on here but those of you in other countries as you can see you have an option to do your currency and now these are some of the templates that you can choose from i need one for a landing page these are mainly checkouts Oh, I see why, because over here is order form, then you got the thank you pages. So basically, they're calling it a sales funnel, but your funnel is really your website. Let's do the sell page. 
here we go and this is going to be our landing pages here so it gives you a few different options of how you may want your website to look that's neat so find one that fits like your brand's aesthetic some of these look very basic but there are some in here that look a little more professional find one that works for you i can probably work with that one let me preview it Yeah, so this will be like the home page. So I'll probably use this one just to start unless there's another one. Let me see what else. Yeah, let me just go with that one to save time. You guys can click through and find one that really works for you. Let's select that one. I'm going to name it home. And this URL will be home. You can set up automation rules, which I'm not going to add a rule right now. You can test. You got the stats. There's leads, sales, and deadline settings. Let's go into order form. Now you can choose a setup for your order form. I wish they had it where they would show you like matching ones to templates you already picked. But let's just see if I can find one that's close enough that can go with this or at least find one that I like. And the order form is essentially like your cart to check out with. I might just do this just so I can pick one. Yeah, this is good enough for me. Again, flip through and find one that actually works for you. And then if you are doing affiliates, you can put in what your affiliate commission will be. Let's say I'm giving 10% to affiliates and they'll get paid the month after. You could put a sales limit too, but I don't need that. You can take this away too if you don't want that. And then I'm going to be doing physical products, which I've got to add products in here. And then of course, create a thank you page to and then add in other pages so when you do add step you can choose the different type of pages you want to like there's upsell downsell we already got thank you page you can do the opt-in form for email so you can do a pop-up form create your link and bio page that you'll use there's info pages which i briefly show that's like the terms and conditions you can do a contact so this will be good to have. I'm not going to build the entire website, but I'll throw this in and then you can just choose one of these to throw in there. What I want to go to is the physical products, which is under assets and let's add in a physical product. So you'll do your test products, create your descriptions, which I showed you guys how you, what you can use to create product descriptions, to make it easy for you. You can create a SKU, which it actually automatically created one for me, or you can change it. If you are charging taxes, add in your tax. Let me change this currency to USD. Add in your price of what you're going to be charging. You could put in the weight for shipping. It's in grams. So you'll have to convert for those of us that are in the US. I'm just throwing in something there for now. And then if you want to manage your stock, let's say you only have 10 of this particular item, you can disable shipping fees for this product if you're doing free shipping or keep it unchecked to add shipping. Add in your images, it was just recently clean in my desktop, so I don't think I have anything. Here, I have this sketch of denim on my desktop and it's actually old but i'm going to use that as if it's the product image so just play along right now i didn't actually prepare stuff for this there we go let's select that for the product image and you can add more images i'm just going to do one now variations which is good this has it i was worried if this would have it or not you can add in sizes and colors i'm putting in junior denim sizes and it's creating my variants for me the only thing is, can I do another variation or can I only do one? Oh, I think I would have to create it all of them here as one. I can't do like size under one and then color under another. So I would have to just do like one and medium and then do a size one and dark three medium three dark okay that can be a little annoying because i'm used to having two separate drop downs instead of having to do all of this but you get what you pay for so at least you guys know for those of you that will have different sizes different colors you may want to list them separately like each color is listed as a separate listing so you don't have to do that because then otherwise you have to list it like this the pricing will stay the same i think i did this at 20 and they're already carried stock over I put 10 for each but if you don't have 10 of each and it's like 10 total you'll just adjust that stock quantity so let's say we do one, two, one, one. How many do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll do two here. 
and that'll equal my 10. So there's the products. You can do coupons on here if you want to add a promo code. I believe, yeah, the coupons are very generic. Either you can do a fixed amount or percentage, and it's probably just going to be on everything. I don't, it doesn't look like I can like specify products if I want to, so it is basic, but you can do coupons. Here's your courses, communities, there's files. Then this is where you will see your orders and your affiliate invoices. So let's see, how can I add in my products? Now, where can I add in the physical products? Here we go. Let's say, I'll just throw it in here. Well, it's not showing the image, but there it is. But if I don't want it on the home page, there are pages up here. So how can I go edit those pages? Because instead of podcast, you can put this as the shop page. I'm going to have to do a separate video just on how to use all the features on here because how do I even go to edit those other tabs? Oh, you can change the fonts and things here to really brand it for your own. Okay, that's good. Or you can add sub menus too. So if you have shop, you can add in like dresses, denim, stuff like that. Let's see. Add. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. I don't need to add anything else right now. I think everything, oh no, here's a save. It's like, does it auto save? Oh, it has the options where you can do things desktop only, mobile. Like, so if there's certain things you wanna hide, that's a good feature to have. Some of the paid ones don't even offer some of these things. Let's preview, cause I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, there we go, dresses. It didn't add denim, but it's got dresses under there. I'm just doing a little plan around till I can figure this out. Cause this is a little different than what I'm used to. Shop should be before checkout. Let's just do this one. Let's go back to edit this one. Website is kind of slow. Okay, here, let's see if I can edit this menu now. Here we go. There's a link for home. So I would link it to, I think is whatever my URL is here. I wish you can just pick from the menu from all my pages I have created to link it back there. Okay, so I got in the URL there. So now when I go to view it, it should take me back home when I click home. The one that's podcast, which I want it to be shop, it doesn't look like it's allowing me to link it because I add in the sub menu. Like I don't see the option for link anymore now that I have a sub menu. So I think I have to delete the sub menu in order to put a link because now that disappeared, which is weird. Okay, that's just reorganizing the menu. So I guess I have to delete my sub menu. Yeah, and see now there's a link. Let's go back here because I just named one shop. What's the URL for it? And this is where you can edit the page. So let me edit this one and see if I can add in a product and then this is how we'll link it on the menu with this url here so then on the menu you can also have like a contact a thank you well thank you will be after you check out i guess so you wouldn't need that oh we're gonna do physical products let's add in that test product and now let's edit the page let's see what that looks like okay so it's still just the template so i guess i gotta go in here and edit these products to add in my test product i know there is a box over here that I have physical product here it is i guess i could just throw this in and start building my own page and delete the template there we go there's my physical product that was my fake description you could put the quantity of how many you want to buy oh i think there was only one piece available and then pick your size so i will have to just develop my own product pages because i really didn't see one for product page but i'm gonna save this really quick i'm not gonna build this entire website website because I don't actually need it. I already have my website, but I just want to show you guys. But if there are specific features on here that you want me to do a tutorial on how to use it, I'll play around with it and then do a tutorial to show you how to use it. But quickly, I'm going to go back to edit and I'm going to update that menu. So that way when I go to view website, I can actually test it and make sure it actually works. So let's update this, paste it in here, and then it should be forward slash shop. And then let me save the changes. And now you guys know I always talk about email marketing. They also offer free email marketing. The free plan comes with up to 2,000 contacts that you can add, but you can send unlimited emails to those 2,000 contacts. And let me just try emails so that way you guys don't get too bored sitting here watching me trying to figure this out. You can create an email campaign. Test email. You can change the sender name or keep it as is. I don't know what email that's gonna. Oh, maybe I have to set up an email that, yeah, it says it's empty. So I'm gonna have to add one. Oh, I gotta set up the domain first. So I can't even test this. I don't wanna connect my domain. If I have to, I'll create a dummy domain to use. 
but I don't want my domain on here. My stuff is already set up. Oh, here's where you can connect your payment gateway. So once you already have an account with one of these, you can go ahead and start connecting and I'm not connecting my account. Okay, and this is where you would connect your domain. You can put a sender email. You have like the opt-in stuff. So here's all your settings to get everything set up. Here's your shipping settings. You can enable this and add in shipping. Here's affiliate program stuff. Here's where you can just do the overall domain, which it should let me use this for email. If it allows me to send unlimited emails on the free account. So allow me to connect my Gmail, which I always use just as a dummy email so I don't get spammed with a bunch of emails and it says verify but it still tells you you have to authenticate its domain so in order to take advantage of their emails on here the free emails they offer you have to connect a custom domain you won't be able to do it without it so if you don't own a domain this won't work but you can get a domain for like a dollar i think godaddy still does that for a dollar if you don't have one already for those of you that want to add an affiliate program for your business to get the name out there for your business another form of marketing there's also an affiliate platform on this same platform so it's all in one where you can start signing up affiliates to promote your products for you if you want to start a blog which i encourage it for seo you can set up a free blog on the same platform if you're one that offers services or some sort of courses you can even do a free online course on the same platform and then it also has automation features as well so you can automate things and make it a lot easier for you you have your crm for those of you that want to create like accounts for for your clients you've got a CRM where you can keep track of them so here will be all your contacts this will also be the ones you can send emails to for your email campaigns so that's system.io and all of its features both free and paid if you want to upgrade to paid I need to do some playing around with this to really get familiar with the platform to be able to show you all the features but if that's something that you're interested in let me know down in the comments what parts you want a tutorial on and I'll go more in depth on how to use it i'll even go as far as buying like a dummy custom domain so i can show you how to connect it and really use all of its features that will be beneficial for you so let me know which features are most important to you in the comments and i'll start doing those tutorials on it and then for those of you that are still using the free canva website by all means continue to do so or you can transfer over to system.io if you feel this is more beneficial for you canva just recently had canva create which they announced of course a bunch of new features i can use those new features to upgrade our websites on canva i haven't quite played around with it yet i've used the new features but for other things so if you want to know how i'm using the new features you can leave a comment i'll let you know how i'm using canva's new features for my everyday business so that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching